A former Georgia congressman forced out of the Trump administration, now among those applying for the seat, soon to be vacated by longtime Senator Johnny Isaacson. Tom Price represented Atlanta's northern suburbs until President Trump offered him a cabinet position. Then the scandal involving a, a jet and its travel sent him back to Georgia. 11 Alive's Doug Richards is looking back. Doug? Well, Jeff, Tom Price was a popular Georgia politician and might have been a formidable candidate for the U.S. Senate in Georgia up until his career kind of imploded a couple of years ago. As a candidate for Congress in Georgia, Tom Price repeatedly won elections to a Republican-friendly district north of Atlanta. As a successful politician and physician, Price was President Trump's pick to lead the Department of Health and Human Services. But as a cabinet secretary, Price had a penchant for travel on private and military planes. The inspector general concluded he'd wasted at least $341,000 on such travel during his seven months as secretary. Price abruptly left Trump's cabinet and has been mostly out of the public eye since. Now Governor Brian Kemp is seeking public applicants to replace Senator Johnny Isaacson, who is resigning due to health issues. I think it's uh, just us being transparent. Kemp's office has posted the application online. Prices isn't public yet, but Doug Collins' resume is. Well, first it was Mueller. First the congressman from North Georgia, a fierce voice against Democrats trying to investigate the president, submitted a crisp two-page resume. There's a chamber music being played. Public Service Commission Vice Chairman Tim Eccles has submitted a resume. So has former Republican Congressman Paul Brown. What this is going to do is give the governor a lot of resumes, a lot of people who are interested um, for him to look at. And it, I'm sure I'm going to rise to the top for all those people. But among the hundreds of pages of resumes the governor's office has released, there are also countless civilian applicants, from a security guard to a Gainesville radio show host. Eccles thinks the unusual public submission process isn't as awkward as it may seem. He's got so many good choices. I feel like, you know, whoever Governor <laughs> Kemp selects, I'm going to be behind them 100 percent. Kemp technically has until the end of December to announce a decision, which is only about 90 days from now. Whomever he, could, he chooses could face voters next year in a special election if he or she chooses to run. And then potentially again in 2022 when Isaacson's election would normally come up on the calendar, Jeff. All right, Doug, thanks. Want to keep tabs on the application process or see who already says, hey, I want to be your next senator. All you have to do is click on the story on the 11 Alive app. It's under the As Seen on TV section.